One with a huge more attack, perhaps? Uh, Paimon's just being enthusiastic. We're old friends now, she gets it. <laughs> it's always a pleasure to see our two most avid adventurers again. Looking for the next challenge, I see. Actually, we do in fact have a rather urgent commission that is still open. Having read the details, however, I don't believe you'd consider it to be lucrative. We were just kidding. So what's the situation? To put it simply, the requester is looking for a temporary replacement actress for their musical. The original cast member ran into some issues and is currently unable to perform the role. But the troupe has also been experiencing some financial difficulties. So unfortunately, they cannot afford to pay the replacement actress. Hmm. That does sound like a tricky situation. So basically, they're looking for a volunteer? That's right. Our adventurers reached out to many actresses, but none of them were willing to take the job. There are only a few days left until the performance. If they can't find someone in time, they'll probably have to postpone the show. And delays tend to create all sorts of new problems. Got it. Oh, this one's a doozy. What do you think, Traveler? Any ideas? Even if we took the commission, neither of us have any experience starring in musicals. Hmm... If you're interested in helping, why not start by having a chat with the requester? He's right over there. Maybe you can't fill the role yourselves, but you might be able to help him figure out another solution. Maybe there's something he hasn't thought of. Oh, it's that guy, huh? No wonder, he looks like he just ate a sour lemon. Paimon approved! Let's go! Hello there! Are you the guy looking for a new actress? Wait, I know you two! Are you really willing to act in my musical? Wow, sounds like we're pretty famous in Fontaine already! <laughs> Uh, but to answer your question, neither of us have any experience in musicals. But we heard that you're in a bit of a bind, so we figured we could at least try to help you think of a solution. Ah, I see. It's okay. I knew that asking for a volunteer was a long shot. If we can't find someone to step in, we'll have no choice but to cancel the show. It would be such a shame. <sighs> That's the thing. We're not some high-profile theater troupe, just a group of amateur enthusiasts. All our sets and props are very crude. We're grateful enough just to get an audience, never mind ticket fees. If we had a way to make this profitable, things might have turned out differently. But now, it looks inevitable that we'll disband. Disband? You're splitting up the troupe? Oh, I guess the lady at the Adventurers Guild didn't tell you? Yeah. This is supposed to be our final show together as a troop. One last show. And after that, we go our separate ways. So we were really hoping to end on a high note. Nobody wants things to just... fizzle out. Not after all the time and effort we've invested into it. Yeah. The leading lady, in fact. She's been dealing with a chronic illness ever since childhood. And unfortunately, it flared up again recently. It really drains all her energy, so she's in no state to perform. The show just won't be the same without her. But for everyone else's sake, I still hope we can find a way to hold the performance on schedule. Got it! We have a clearer picture now. Uh, let's see if we can come up with any ideas. Uh, what if we sponsored the show? Um, Traveler, how much more are you carrying? Uh, please. There's no need to go that far. I wouldn't feel right asking such a huge favor. And I can't promise that we'd ever be able to pay you back. Hmm, good point. If the actress just goes through the motions for the Mora, that's not exactly rescuing the show. We should find someone who will put on the best performance possible. Hmm... Oh, wait! What about... Um, you know who? That's how you know 
we're the best of partners. Anyway, she should have all the free time in the world right now. She's really good at performing, and she was once super popular with the crowd. Performing in a musical should be a piece of cake for her. Who are you thinking of? Sounds like someone famous. Her! You're... That was a joke, right? Uh, nope. Paima doesn't actually know if she's performed on stage before, but Paima's pretty confident that she'd be really good at it. You're not wrong there. She has actually performed in a number of big-name shows before. They were one of the reasons she was so popular. But even if she's no longer the Hydro Archon, it's not like she's suddenly a commoner. She's still an idol to many people in Fontaine, including myself. I just think Lady Farina might feel a bit out of place in an amateur troupe like ours. Well, yes, but... But... Huh. Fair enough. I mean, if she was actually willing to, then of course I'd be honored to have Lady Farina star in our show. I'm sure the rest of the troupe would be delighted too. I'm sure everyone in our troupe has probably dreamt of performing on stage with her one day. Of course, it all depends on whether she's interested. She might consider this opportunity beneath her. No point in stressing about that. We'll only know if we ask her. And besides, things are different now. There's no reason for her to be all high and mighty anymore. Thank you for your help. I guess I'll just stay here and wait for the good news. Good luck. Wait, where does Farina actually live nowadays? She used to live in luxury at the Palais Mermonia, but she's, uh, moved out, right? As it happens, I have her current address here. I can provide it to you. Woo! When did you get here? <laughs> I came over when things were starting to sound more promising. I thought I should be at the ready in case my assistance is needed. It is my duty to support commissioners in any way I can. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. Well, now that we've got the address, we'll go find Farina. Back in a jiffy. Lament! bit of a step down from the Palais Marmonia. You know, it's common courtesy to make sure the homeowner isn't an earshot when you're denigrating their abode. <laughs> okay, when did Poppy got a thin air become all the rage? First Catherine and now you? I was just out on a shopping trip. I ran out of macaroni, so I went to grab a few more bags. I used to have a much wider range of choices when it came to food. But now, I'm finding that simple, traditional home cooking can be quite delicious, too. Not at all. As long as you have different kinds of sauces in, you can have macaroni and tomato sauce one week, macaroni and bolognese the next. Oh, sounds like you're really struggling to cope. How rude! Questioning my cooking skills, the audacity! It's not like I have a very eventful life these days. Actually, I barely leave the house. So I don't see how it's unusual that my meals are a little simpler now, too. Besides, I'm sure I could master dishes like La Lettre Fossilor or Blubber Profiteroles in no time, if I felt so inclined. Ah, there it is. You don't know how to cook. <laughs> not yet, maybe, but... Anyway, what are you even doing here? I do hope you didn't come here just to ogle at my fall from grace. Let me first be clear that I'm not taking guests at this time. So if you're just here to clown around, then please be on your way. Shoot! Sorry! We're sorry! Please don't be mad! 
Yeah, exactly what the traveler said. Paimon wasn't trying to make fun of you. Hang on a sec, you aren't exactly holding back either. My help? Hmm? Uh, well, maybe you're forgetting that I'm no longer the mighty Hydro Archon. I don't even have a vision, you know. Don't worry, it's nothing that serious. It's just very specific, and you're the one with the power to help! Oh? Well, if that's the case, then... Fine. I'll spare you the lecture about your attitude just now. So tell me, what specifically makes this matter so... specific? Ah, I see. I knew you couldn't have come all this way just to amuse yourselves at my expense. After all, I was once the brightest star in all of Fontaine, well versed in all the various performing arts. A mere musical is well within my capabilities. <laughs> but given the present circumstances, I'm afraid I must regretfully decline your casting request. How come? It sounds like this would be a breeze for you! True, but I have made a decision to retire from the stage. Although I am no longer required to play the role of the Hydro Archon, the time I spent inhabiting that character has left an indelible mark on me. Centuries of pretending to be a different person changes you completely. I'm not the same person I once was. Of course, that can't be undone now. It's too late, and I have no intention of reinventing myself all over again. But at least I can say that I no longer desire to play any new roles. Uh, Paimon can understand, but this is just a one-off part to fill in for someone who's sick. Surely that's okay. Whether it's a one-off or not, it's a boundary that I've committed to no longer cross. If I make an exception to the rule now, I'm just leaving a back door for myself, which would be the same as not having a boundary in the first place. So I'm not going to perform, and that is that. Okay, guess there's no convincing you. Well, is there anything else we can do to help out the troop? Otherwise, they'll just have to disband without any fanfare. Do you know any other actors who might be interested in the role? Nope. Short and to the point, okay. I've never been great at maintaining relationships. Besides, anyone I've ever worked with probably couldn't wait to get rid of me. Since I'm just an ordinary person now. They'll probably just laugh in my face if I go asking them for help. True, but... I mean, could you even blame them? I show up out of the blue, begging and groveling for their help with a show they won't even get paid for? Ooh, no way. I'm dying from embarrassment just thinking about it. <sighs> nope. Not happening. Well... Is there anything else we can do? This performance really means a lot to the guy we're working for. Have I not made myself clear? You're barking up the wrong tree. I don't want this job, nor do I know of anyone else who would. Uh, sorry. I didn't mean for that to sound so harsh. I wish I could help, really. But if I thought I had the answer to this problem, I would have said so by now. It's all right, Farina. Paimon just wanted to make sure we tried everything. Oh, everyone in the troop will be so disappointed. Yeah, I guess that's all we can do now. All right, then. We'll see you around, Farina. Uh, toodaloo to you, too. I'm going home to take a rest now. It's too 
feel bad, but we have to respect Farina's decision. Hmm, maybe the thought of performing brings up too many painful memories. Exactly. But none of them believe me. Huh? What's going on? Are they arguing? That's besides the point. I'll ask you again. Why did you start looking for a replacement without my consent? When did I tell you I'm going to take a step back? You didn't need to say it. We've known each other for how long now? We know the signs. But you never tell us about your illness, even when it's clearly flaring up. And that gives you the right to make a decision on my behalf? Shortly after you left, the troop's lead actress came to the Adventurers Guild. She believes that she's healthy enough to perform. Excuse me, but can you both take a moment to discuss something else for now? The adventurer assigned to your commission has returned. Sorry, I was just dealing with a little misunderstanding. So, how did your conversation with Farina go? Sadly, it's a no from her. We tried to persuade her, but she wasn't having it. She doesn't want to play the role for personal reasons. I see. Well, circumstances have changed a little, so maybe that's not such bad news after all. You see, our leading lady has just informed me that she's well enough to make it to the show after all. Staging the musical with the full original cast was always the dream, of course. Oh, right! Sounds like everything worked itself out then! Yeah, she'd be livid! We'd get the scolding of a lifetime! Jeez! Is Lady Farina really so harsh with people? Only joking, calm down. So, uh, guess we can consider this case closed now, huh? Despite the fact that we failed to complete the commission, we were still racking our brains for ideas on the way back here. <laughs> <sighs> Look, there's no point arguing with you about this anymore. You've made yourself very clear. So I'll stop looking for a replacement. This is the last chance we have, though. If your illness flares up again, there won't be time to find anyone to replace you. So, are you absolutely sure you'll be able to handle it? The whole team is putting everything they have into this final performance. We have to make sure it goes ahead. Yes, I'm completely confident. I've been taking a new medication from the doctor, and it's working brilliantly. I'll definitely be able to tough it out until the performance day. I share everyone's desire to commemorate all our years as a troupe with a proper farewell show. So the last thing I want is to be left out. Every one of us thinks of this troupe as their home, myself included. You're right. I'm sorry. I let myself get too worried about the show. I should have asked for your permission first. Ah, all's well that ends well. Sounds like the show will go on. Uh, sure. Uh, hey, how did you... Uh, I... I was just passing by because I realized I forgot a couple of items on my shopping list. <laughs> all right, all right, I'm coming. No need to drag me. Uh, ahem. Hello, one and all. I couldn't help but overhear your conversation just now. Farina? Didn't you say you were gonna take a rest at home? What are you doing here? I... I was just ever so slightly concerned about the situation you mentioned. Yes, a teensy bit concerned, that's all. When you came to talk with me earlier, I jumped right to explaining my position and said some strongly worded things. And all before I even had a full grasp of the situation. Anyway, I just feel a bit bad about how it went down. I'm sorry, Paimon. Oh, it's totally fine! Paimon didn't take any of that personally. You... Really have a knack for asking the most uncomfortable questions, don't you? I felt very sheepish, having had a change of heart after flatly refusing you. And then, to make matters worse, you caught me. But in any case, it sounds like the issue has already been resolved. 
Yeah. When they said they were gonna ask for your help, I almost had a heart attack. I mean, how could we be worthy of having Lady Farina star in our show? There's no need to think like that. And no need to keep addressing me as Lady. Just Farina is fine. I was wondering, if this troop is so important to all of you, why does it have to disband? If the difficulties are purely financial, then there must be a solution. You could put the shows on pause while you look for a sponsor, for instance. Everyone seems so devoted to the troupe. I'm sure if you keep chipping away, you'll find a way through. <sighs> we all want to believe that, but some things are just beyond our control. Everything's been going downhill ever since we lost our director. She was the heart and soul of our troupe. She kept us going. Her name was O'Reilly. And she was the founder, as well as the artistic director of our troupe. And tragically, she... was a victim in the serial disappearances case. What? That's actually how I recognized these two. It was all thanks to their efforts that the true culprit was brought to justice. <sighs> but still, no sentence can bring our director back to us. She was a loyal fan of your performances, Lady... Uh, Miss Farina. They were what first inspired her to get into musical theater. She rallied many people around her who were destitute or had lost their sense of purpose in life, and convinced them to join her troupe. She wrote her own scripts, acted on stage, and mentored each and every one of us. People loved our performances back then. We seemed to be going from strength to strength. Things were really looking up for us. And then disaster struck. Yeah. After that, the entire troupe fell into disarray. None of us know anything about script writing, let alone how to handle the business side of things. We've been doing the best we can, but despite our efforts, things are slowly but surely falling apart. It's agonizing, but ultimately, we'd rather end things now on our own terms than stick it out to the bitter end and watch all our dreams turn to dust. What a terrible waste. A gifted artist from humble beginnings, who achieved so much and no doubt had much more to give. And then her life was so cruelly taken. I suppose it's fair to say then that this final show, besides being your farewell to the stage, is also your final gift for her? Yes, exactly. We all miss her terribly. Well, good thing I followed the Traveler here. After hearing this tragic tale, I can no longer stand by and do nothing. Uh, Farina? I know what you're thinking, but I by no means plan to cross the boundary I've set for myself. Besides, they're no longer looking for a replacement anyway. I can, however, provide some artistic guidance from the vantage point of a highly experienced audience member. But only if you feel this is something that would help, of course. Oh, most definitely! We'll take any guidance that you can give. We unfortunately don't have any budget for a consultant, though. Will that be a problem? I don't need any compensation. All I'd ask in return, if you're willing, is that you tell me some more about the life and work of your late director. Something I've begun to realize since my departure from the Opera Epicles is that there's a lot you don't see when you observe everything from on high. The law only judges criminal behavior and does not weigh human emotion. The court's verdict can settle the question of criminal liability, but... What about all the unresolved emotions of the parties involved? What happens to them? An interesting answer. But if you ask me, I think all emotion shall ultimately return home to the heart, and slowly settle with the passage of time. Take, par exemple, how this troop pines for their late director. Things such as this I have never witnessed before. And so I should like to observe, for chance to understand. Ah! Still a fan of your old dramatic monologues then, huh? You just want to get back in on the action, don't you? No, no, no. This is a completely different situation. <sighs> Pearls before swine. Ah, the name's not swine, it's Paimon! 
Would you be willing to join me? Come on, take a break from adventuring to listen to a story. Thank you all so much. Our director was a huge fan of Miss Farina's performances, as of course we all are. All right, follow me. We'll go to our usual practice space. Please excuse the size. It's a little on the smaller side. Lady Farina? What's Lady Farina doing here? Hello, all. Allow me to explain. As of today, Lady... Uh, Miss Farina will be supporting our production of the Little Oceanid in the role of Artistic Consultant. These two over here are the ones that made it possible. They kindly reached out to Miss Farina on our behalf. I'm sure they need no introduction. You bet! That was the trial of the century! You helped bring our director's murderer to justice. We can't thank you enough. Oh, please don't mention it. We're just here to join in on the fun. So, you were saying the little Oceanid? Yeah, that's the name of our final show. It's an unfinished script left behind by our director. One of our greatest regrets is that she never got to complete it. So, if we can bring it to the stage and make it a successful show, we can all take some solace in that. Wait, but if it's not finished, then... Yeah, we've been battling issues on every front trying to realize this dream. Anyway, let me give you a quick summary of what the story's all about. The protagonist of the story is a young Oceanid who transforms herself into human form, despite the protests of her family. She longed to live just like any other human, and sure enough, she found friendship and even love. Everything seemed perfect. But one day, her true identity was exposed, and her world came crashing down around her. So far, so good. A classic tale. What happened after that? That's one of the issues we've been trying to deal with. Unfortunately, this was as far as the director got with her script. We need a proper ending so we can bring this musical to the stage. But people have different opinions on which direction to take it in. We still haven't decided between a happy ending or a true-to-life tragedy. By true-to-life... You mean, the director's sudden disappearance? Yeah. Like they say, truth is stranger than fiction. But then there's the question of whether we really want to use the stage to pass our raw pain onto the audience. Exactly. A lot of the time, people come to watch a show just hoping for some light entertainment. We have to consider their emotional stake in this, not just our own. And one last thing. We're still waiting on confirmation from two of our main actors. The first is Paulo, who plays the protagonist's lover. He's locked himself away to focus on writing an ending for the script, but the deadline's passed and we still haven't heard from him. The other is Vilmont, who plays the main antagonist. He took the director's death pretty hard, hasn't set foot in the city since. He did write to us, promising that he'll be there for the final performance, but we haven't seen or heard from him since, so we're not really sure what to make of that. Huh. Although, now that we have Miss Farina helping us, maybe we should take the opportunity to get everyone back together. What opportunity? What do you mean? <laughs> maybe you're unaware, 
but your name has always been like a rallying cry for us. Our director was constantly singing your praises. All of us look up to you as a role model. <laughs> oh, stop. You're making me all flustered. <laughs> Although, <laughs> not in a bad way. Um, I suspect the reason they're dragging their feet is that they have their doubts about whether the show will really go ahead, considering all the issues you've been facing. But one by one, all the obstacles are being removed. Now is the time to rally the troops. Makes sense. Okay, priority number one, let's check in with Paulo and see where he's at with the ending. He went back to Poisson a few days ago, said that staying in a friend's home might help him to relax and escape the feeling of isolation. I thought the last thing his friend would want right now would be to take visitors, given that Poisson was flooded not too long ago. But I guess it's the opposite. A friend in need and all that. Yeah, maybe he could use some company. Poisson? Nothing. I suppose my presence will be indispensable if we are to restore his faith in the show. So, allons-y. To Poisson! <laughs> <laughs> 